Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Star of Wisdom, and welcome back to Shipwrecked! And Happy Halloween! I already did Happy Halloween, but I forgot. I decorated this for Halloween and then didn't play, so... But yeah, looks kind of nice. Got some jack-lanterns. I put a lot of effort into this! I bone mealed some saplings, but yeah. Uh, let's see, I bred these. Oh, good, they can breed again. I just tested this and they couldn't, but now they can. Um, so let's see. Um, right, so last time I had the special episode, and I went mining, and in case you missed it, we made a thing. We made a notch apple. Which is good, but it's also bad, because... We were trying to gather gold in order to um, make minecart rails, power rails, to build a, um, a minecart track. Oh, that jingling in the background is just my dog, so don't mind that. Um, <laughs> but we want to build a minecart rail from here to there, and then all the way that way until we get the on a rail achievement. Um, so, yeah, basically... By turning all of our gold into the golden apple, we now have this much gold, which is actually not enough to even craft any power rails, because you need six to make, I think, six. So, that's efficient. But, um, so I decided I didn't want to record again. You can tell stuff is smelting, you can probably tell where I'm going with this. I didn't want to record myself just going around mining again. So, I decided to do it off camera, which was probably... I don't know. I didn't feel like recording. I just was like, I need to just go get resources that I can build for the next episode. Probably should have started recording when I found a mine shaft, and things got a little bit chaotic. I used some health potions, I took some damage, stuff was poisoning, I was out of milk, and it was very, it was very intense. Um, but I got some good stuff out of it. I got, uh, I think I got some more diamonds. Yeah, I am up to 19 diamonds. I, don't, I think I was down to like one, so I found a lot of diamonds. And, um, I got 36 more gold, so that will be useful for mining. And then the iron that I got is still just finishing smelting. Um, there's only three in here, but I think the rest is full sacks. But yeah, so anyway, sorry that I didn't record that, but I figured not really going to be exciting to record just me doing the same thing. But anyway, that's what happened. Um, it really wasn't too much aside from me almost dying <laughs> twice. <laughs> so it was, I mean... Yeah, anyway, in the future I would definitely, I have figured that I would have recorded that, uh, looking back on it. But, anyway, so, we are gonna be doing stuff. Um, first of all, I'm gonna be building it out of stone bricks, because stone bricks are easy to make, and we have a lot of stone bricks, and I like stone bricks. So, yeah. Also, with our silk touch pickaxe, which I love, um, that was, is useful, because I don't really have to just smelt as much stone. Um, I still smell some of it. I should put all this iron away. Let me turn it into blocks. Um, oh, and in the minecart, in the, uh, abandoned mine shaft, I got quite a bit of rails, because they obviously naturally spawn, and, um, get the rest of that iron. So, let's see, where did I put those now? I have so much iron. Uh, where did I put the rails? Tools? Uh, yeah, here they are. Uh, one second. My dog is being loud. I'll be right back. Okay, we're good. Um, so yeah, I put the minecart rails in here, so this is a good start. We don't have to, at least we don't have to put iron into it. Um, I was just seeing what that sword was. Not, not a good one. Um, how much damage is it? 12. Okay. Um, if we made strength potions, we could probably get the overkill achievement. But anyway, um, gold. Right, I wanted to make powered rails, which is some combination of these ingredients, I believe. Um, so we'll make all the power rails that we can using this gold, uh, which is not going to be very many, so I'm going to have to go mining again, and probably not this episode, yeah. 36 power rails, yay. It's not going to get us very far. So I think that what we're going to do for building the minecart rail over, we are going to start with the stone bricks, and I want to make sure I actually should bring all of them, most of the stones so that if I, I don't have to, like, come back. So I know I've got everything that I could possibly need. Um, and we should actually test how many, where I need to put redstone torches. So let's, 
Um, I've already got sticks, so I don't need that wood on it. Um, let's just make all of these into redstone torches. And uh, put my redstone back. And let's just experiment really quickly with uh, wood. Oh, I might as well grab the log instead of planks. Um, what was I doing? I blanked. I blanked. Oh, right, I was going to make... You know, carrying all this stone is a bad idea. Let me get rid of a shovel. I guess. Two stacks of stone. I don't know. Um, right. What I wanted to do is I wanted to make a minecart so that we can test about how far we're going to get on this. Um, so I'm just going to start it... I think maybe over here is a good place to start it. Uh, even though it's a little bit further away. Um, it looks like a nice kind of place to head out into the ocean. Um, and let's see, I wrote down the coordinates so that I know which way I'm aiming. Uh, yes. So, I mean, obviously, it's that way, but so that we know specifically. We need to get up to layer 225. So we're going to build up first, and then we're going to build over to the minecart, or to the spawner. So, what I want to do first, let's just figure, I'm going to do it kind of like this. And let's see um, if we just go up to layer 100 first, I guess, is a good start. And then we will test how often we need to put powered rails in um, on here. So, yep, just building up. So much fun. I, I really hope I have enough blocks to get over. I probably don't have enough blocks because, I mean, I don't have enough blocks for sure to get the achievement because... The achievement um, is traveling, I believe, a thousand blocks. So I, I obviously don't have a thousand blocks, so I'm going to have to go mining again. Um, but hopefully this will be enough to get over to the mob spawner. That's what I want to mainly get done. Um, so just a few more blocks. I don't have to worry about falling, so that's really nice. Because of water and things. Um, oh yeah, so I can do with making some more health potions, since I had to use a couple last time. Uh, or, while well, I was not recording, which, the more and more that I think about it, the worse I feel about it. <laughs> Should have just recorded. Why didn't I just record? Uh, okay, so let's figure out how far we get with this. Um, and I forgot all the rails. That would be useful. Um, let's leave. We're going to leave more of this stone that I was over there. That should be enough. We'll grab some rails. Um, let's grab the last three. Use those really quickly. Um, and let's try it first with one powered rail here. Um, please connect. There we go. So what I'm going to do is, I guess, have for every powered rail, we'll have a block to the side of it with a redstone torch to power it. Okay. So let's see how far this gets me. Um, guessing it's not going to get me this far, so let's, let's go ahead and give it a try. Um, did I just hear a baby zombie? I thought I did. I keep hearing mobs on my island. I feel like there must be an unlit section of cave down there, but I've checked and I don't think that there is. Um, oh, right. Uh, we should actually give this a little bit more of a start. So let's do maybe like Oh, right, and we're actually... I'm not... You can probably tell I'm not great with minecarts, but I believe it's something like this to get started. Um, so let's actually... This is my silk touch, right? Okay, good. Um, not that I need the silk touch, but I don't want to be using my fortune one. Did I pick up? Yeah, I think I picked up the silk touch. Um, so let's see how far we get. Good thing I can break that with my hand. <laughs> um... Now let's see, I believe what happens is that if you ride this down here, it stops. Yep, and then you, like, well, that was me holding the button down again. Um, so I believe that, no, go backwards, backwards, I don't want to, just stop. Okay, uh, we need a button or something to press, I think, to activate it. Um, let's just make a stone button, oops. Alright, um, just because of evenness and things. 
Uh, let's see, where can I press the button? Let's figure this out. Um, just trying to set up a launching mechanism of sorts. Uh, put the regular torch back on top of here. And then, so I get in and I go down. Okay, now. Uh, can I put a button just right here? There we go. So that got me to there, which was how far? Okay, I have to check what, why I get up to. That gets me to 66. From, that got me two blocks? Wow. Wow. Just wow. That didn't even get me two blocks. Okay. Um, so let's put one right here, I guess, is the first one. Uh, I really, this is gonna be requiring so many more than I want to use. Okay. So let's figure out how far does this get me now. 69. So, for going uphill, I seriously have to put them, okay, 70. So if I put them every four blocks, I guess. Gosh, that's gonna require so many. Uh, oh well. So every four blocks. All right. Powered rail. That's no torch. All right. Seventy-four. Maybe you know. Let's just test it again. See if maybe as we pick up speed going up. Pick up speed while going up. Yeah. No, it's gonna be every four blocks. I might be able to eventually pull it off every five blocks once we get up to a hundred. Um, because let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that, that's four. So one, two, three. Oh. Oh, because it's flat. Whatever. Um, not gonna think about it as much. Oh, right, I need these on. Uh, 73, 74. Okay. And we'll put that down. We need to eat. Um. Okay. Yeah, I need so much gold. It's so annoying. It wouldn't be as bad. I, I really shouldn't have made the Notch Apple yet. Although the Notch Apple was a big a big deal. I think that... I mean, it was a good use, either way. Um, there we go. Caught up to where I had already placed stuff. So, one... Wait. I did three in between. Okay, so I think here I'm going to do... One, two, three, four in between, and see if that's enough to get me up to here. And then let me go. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's test if that works now, if I do it every four. Because I feel like it might be able to give me enough forward momentum. Um, because it's pushing me up here. Nope, okay. I can't pull it off every four. I feel like that would really hurt to hit that right there. Um, <laughs> okay, so we'll just do it every three. Once we get up to flat ground, it'll be a little bit easier. Um, okay, so we gotta move that down to here. Got this here and right there, and bring that back. Bring that back. Okay, so then we have one, two, three. Powered. Like this. Okay. Uh, um, oh, I already have one, two, three. Like that. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And I've got a powered one. Like that. Okay. So let's go. Let's get up to 256. I'm gonna pause and come back when I'm at... No, not 256. 225. I will pause when I'm back. Er, you know what I mean. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I just realized that I overshot... Uh, I accidentally overshot the spawner. It's at X65. So, we'll have to turn... Right... Here. Eh... I gotta tear it all down. 